women. You can't live with them. You can't let anyone find the bodies. Promise me something. I've really missed you, men, women. I really have. You give them everything, and they only want one thing more. Stop screwing around and promise me something. Seriously, what more could I give you? Seriously, I need you to promise me something. All right then, name it. Promise me, you will never kill again. Sometimes, killing is what it takes to get the job done. I don't care what you have to do. Maim, gouge, cause brain damage. Just never kill again. You have to promise me just one thing. And that would be? You'll never waste money on makeup for your face. Since you'll never need it. Atomizer can reassemble him, good as new. It'd be like nothing ever happened to him. Liar! Do I look stupid? You've done enough. Now please go back to whatever sadistic planet you came from, and leave these people alone. Shut up, and watch what I can do, before I knock your silly ass out. She backed away from me, visibly shaken and wary-eyed. Please, don't kill these people. They are mine to take care of. Do what you want to me, but leave them be. Why? Why doesn't it matter what happens to you? My life story is none of your concern. In my intuition, the word fault popped forward. I fired the blaster at the enemy, and his atomic structure began to loosen and divide. After a few seconds, I lowered the blaster, and he returned to solid flesh. The whole time the girl stood there with her hands over her mouth and her eyes fearful and worried about the outcome of her actions. When he suddenly rolled over and sat up, seemingly in the best health of his life, she almost collapsed. That's... that's not possible! Yo! You did that! I feel like I could wrap the floating glass once again! <laughs> yes, you could do that now, whatever that is. How many of these people can you restore like that? With enough power, I could restore them all. But can't fix the hellhole they live in. Eventually, they will return to their former state. I know just what you mean. Where is your husband? I don't have any family anymore. What kind of girl are you that approaches strange men with blasters in dark alleys? Doesn't matter what happens to me. She seemed to repeat with an air of finality that began to give me chills. What has happened to you? Nothing that shouldn't. Lift up your dress. Are you out of your mind? Undress. Or I will leave these people with no one to care for them. <gasps> I hate you for this. Mister, mister. Don't hurt her. She cares for us all, I beg ya. Okay, tell me why she puts herself out to be killed, or worse, the way she does. Tell him nothing, Crate. He mustn't know. Okay, okay. She gets attacked all the time, beaten up, and left for dead. But she's all we have defending us. Not much of a defense, I commented. I fired the atomizer at her dress. The material buzzed and flowed, and then disappeared. She had been savagely violated. Her body was black and blue with abuse. 
not to mention some black splotches of matter, which I had no idea what they might have been. Good God, girl. You've allowed this, haven't you? Oh, please, master. She ain't done nothing wrong to be treated like this. Don't worry, my friend. Oh, I have the blaster for this job, I said, raising my blaster to take another aim at the huddled mass of girl before me. No! You mustn't! You can't! I've had enough of this crap, I said, impatient with the pity party, and I atomized her new form. Wow, mister! You're the god! <laughs> Craig said, patting me on the back. He was obviously delighted at the improvements my rebooting of the girl had made. She stood from her crouched position, looking at her own hands, and then her now beautiful clean female parts. She was now full-bodied, about 20 pounds heavier and filled out. She wore the way to well, and her color was a wonderful healthy hue. Rebooting will do that to you. The body, mind, and spirit are all remade. The person is truly born again. But without having to go through the embarrassing childhood, she looked inwardly with wonder and said, My God, it's like it was all a distant dream. I can't feel the pain anymore. I reached out my hand to her. Let me take you away from this. Come with me to my ship. Oh no, I couldn't. Are you kidding? What about these people? We found a place for them. I know a planet, and we'll come back. My intuition rang in with the words, Take her. And in my inner self, I knew this was just the thing to do. I snapped open my communicator and radio Crunchy. The beam us in, Crunchy, now! I grabbed her hand before she could protest, and we both evaporated from the room.